Listen, listen. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share something with you that I heard that I absolutely do not agree with, but I think there's a principle in it. So I heard somebody say who deals with divorce counseling, and maybe you think differently. Their opinion is like, if you've been married to someone for 10 years and you get a divorce, right? Then you have to wait 10 years to heal from that 10 year marriage before you can step into another relationship. So if we take that and apply that to dating, if you've been with somebody for say two years, you have to wait two years before entering into another relationship with someone else. Now, I don't necessarily agree with that, but what I do agree with is the principle that when you've come out of a relationship, you need time to be by yourself. You should not race into another relationship because what you're racing out of, you may be racing right back into with someone else. And then you may be engaging in what we call rerun relationships. You know, ever notice why it seems like you keep dating the same type of guy, you keep attracting the same type of issues into your life because you haven't taken the time to go through a heatox, getting that man out of your system, or a sheetox, getting that woman out of your system, and truly becoming whole and complete within yourself in order to be ready for the person that God would have for you. And so a lot of times when you date, you make selection process, you make selections based upon your hurts, based upon your pains, based upon what you're lacking in your life, because you want somebody to fill that void, but it may be a temporary situation. So you don't want to make you don't want to make permanent decisions based upon temporary situations of hurt and pain. Take the time to be alone and embrace your aloneness. Your pastor basically said it. If you're single and sad, then you're not going to wind up being married and mad. But if you're single and satisfied, then you can be married and gratified. So who you are before you say I do is an indication of what you'll be after you say I do.